Hey everybody, Omega Alden plays XCOM 2, uh, War of the Chosen. I can often forget the uh, the expansion name here. Uh, continues right now with our Iron Man playthrough. Uh, we're researching magnetic weapons. Uh, we've got our, I think our guy on a mission. Let's see, resistance ring. What is our covert action? Bold, big flank, and Mac Hog are on a mission right now to to pick up the card of modular restruction. Your construction could come in handy in the future. I don't know if it will though. I kind of I'm like I actually I questioned myself on that that one. I remembered how the cards worked, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's uh, you have to slot it in over something that you know might be just way better. So. The black market's available, but we need to investigate. This is the first recording session after like a week of not looking at the game. I did all the other things basically a full week ago. And so I'm pretty nervous right now. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, we need to begin digging into here. Because we need the power, so we got to get both of these going 15 days, mag weapons 5 days. What's our troop status? Gravely uh, gravely wounded for 11 days is one butch deadlift. Lump beef broth is 4 days. Alright, fair enough. So, we continue... To look around, we've picked up resistance contacts. We're going to figure out what the black market has to offer us. The black market, if you're unaware, is a place where uh, certain goods are, or certain goods or services are for sale for Intel, and then you can sell your own stuff to them for varying prices. We want to go... So we just trained somebody... We need to look at our roster and see what we need. So, view soldiers. We might want to actually spend some money to recruit people as well. Because we're running out of newbie slots. So we have four grenadiers. A sharpshooter. Two specialists. I feel like an extra sharpshooter would not be a bad idea for the next one. So, Claudia? I think you... Our next sharpshooter. Number two. Then report back to the map. Continue scanning. Uh, so we have the ability to go to this mission site, which is the black site. I'm going to be holding off until such time as... Uh, let's see if it tells us about it. Operation Bonefather, 125 supplies... This should basically reduce, if we successfully complete it, I think it'll reduce Avatar Project uh, progress. So we're going to be giving ourselves... Good job. We're going to be giving ourselves every opportunity we have. We can locate the faction. We're going to be giving ourselves every uh, chance we have to get better equipment before we go there. Uh, just in, in keeping the thing in check. We have time on our side right now. Time is not on your side at all times, but at the, at the current moment, you know, it's a very small amount of Advent Avatar Project progress. I had a... I think I had something I wanted to equip on MacHog. Let's see. We have an autoloader... Oh, the superior repeater. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So. The superior repeater, since he can fire twice in combat, can be useful. We are going to locate this faction. So it requires a Sergeant Plus, which is going to be either Victor Creed or Omega Alden. Let's send... So, I'm not a, a big fan of Templar, to be honest with you, at least early Templar. Uh, and the reason being is that their primary source of damage is a melee attack, which is incredible. 
Like, it's a very good unit, but the melee attack means that I potentially am activating pods that I don't want to activate. And so I really want to try to avoid that. And since we already gave Macog bonus health, why don't we give him bonus dodge? We're going to we're going to deck him out a little bit from these missions in just some some extra things. And hopefully this doesn't doom him to like an immediate death when we take him out on his first real mission. But we're going to send the Templar and the Skirmisher to find the Reapers. You know, unify the factions. That makes sense to me. Let's go. That makes perfect sense. I think... I'm gonna send somebody to help the mission. So we're gonna find it in five days now. We need to... We definitely need to re-put him in the... The power cell thing once uh, once that's up, but I wanna, I really do wanna pick up a reaper. So, uh, the black market has expressed a particular interest in the Illyrium crystals, Illyrium core, and Advent turret rec stores. Okay, what do you have for sale, sir? Twenty one alien alloys, one scope, ninety six supplies. So these all have an intel cost associated with them. Like you could do thirty intel for ninety six supplies, hundred and five intel for a scientist. We don't have that much intel, obviously. And then we could have the research time on experimental weapons or this. I don't, I'm not interested in any of those right now. Selling stuff. So these are marked as very interested, which means that the price is, uh, is higher than it normally would. I don't remember by what amount. These things I think are used in various uh like other purchases and things so i don't want to mess with them but i might sell some i think i might sell 30 trooper corpses because i don't think these are ever or uh 30 dollars worth of it 10 of these things we'll keep a few just because i i don't remember but i think that it doesn't tell you if things are worthless but at some point things become like worthless to you you can just sell them to the to the vendor, but I'll have to, I'll probably need to look that up at some point because knowing for sure matters. Do we have nothing to scan now? I guess we could work on making contact with another. Wait, so what regions have we made contact with? We've got West Asia. New Arctic. So if we hit up, like, East Asia... New India is 90. Plus 90. So let's go try to make contact in... Uh, in New India. 40 intel? 5 to 7 days? Alright, let's go. The further you get away from your base of operations, the more intel it takes to make contact. Seven days? Come on, you keep giving me, I feel like, the full the run around here. Oh, we get the mag weapons clips. We just devastated that billboard that we made look like an alien. If only all aliens were so easy to destroy. We wouldn't uh, be having a problem right here. Okay, so magnetic rifle, shard gun, mag pistol, bullpup, and auto pistol, along with the ability to research Goss weapons. The auto pistol is the Templar weapon, or the Templar secondary weapon. Bullpup is the skirmisher weapon. Mag pistol is the what the secondary for the. Sniper, shard gun is the replacement shotgun. Magnetic rifle is your standard rifle replacement. Ooh, what is modular? Is this an extra slot? Hold on, sectoid autopsy. So this says instant, but basically if you take, if, I don't remember how this works. I'm gonna go for modular cannons because here's what it says. Our breakthrough has allowed us to add an additional upgrade slot to all cannons without sacrificing balance or firepower. This means that we just have, like, a, a second modular s spot. 
So we could, you know, if you have an extended mag, you could also put like a repeater or whatever on there or a site. And that's huge. But the thing is, can I, can I do an immediate sectoid autopsy? I'm not going to risk it because I don't want to lose this thing. This is good. So there you have it. That's what we're doing. The, the instant autopsy will still be there regardless of if, if it uh, could have been used a second ago or not. Okay, so here's our monthly report. We failed that mission. Avatar progress is at three. What's our, what's our warlock friend up to? Planned activity is training. Intense training increasing the strength in combat. We have spider and fly. This is the thing that I think it's one of the ones we had to start with that that failed. Or we failed. We failed whatever mission we were trying to do. I don't remember who was it, this or some other policy. I guess it was the other policy because that one's probably enacted right now. And then we have sealed arm uh, armor, completely immune to environmental hazards like poison, fire, and ice. Dude, that's that's kind of annoying, but I don't know how much like how much that impacts us obviously you like it if they're able to burn to death or something from incidental explosions uh but i don't know how bad that is we have the opportunity to spend 25 intel to reveal one we only have 31 intel i'm just gonna let it slide if there are orders, you would have us follow, Commander. uh okay so we're we're rocking double the ability points gained in combat that's a very good one we do have the option for vulture Enemies drop additional loot item. I want the loot right now, especially with our modular cannons coming up. What I want to try to do is just get better, uh, better m items to slot in our weapons. For the of the Let's go get our supplies. Commander will need to completely That's fine. We're you know we're we're making contact. It doesn't matter until the next paycheck anyway. I'd advise we stick around and finish the job, but the choice is yours. Central, you calm yourself, sir. We're getting paid over here. You, you got that? This is how I pay you, Central. You need to just... Respect that. Okay, so we... We have two specialists, two snipers, four grenadiers, and three rangers, I think. I'm gonna add... Let's say, let's say Brett is our... Or Brit... I don't remember what it said. Is our next grenadier. Brit Jensen. Son of Yen. I don't think that's... It's not like Yen Son. <laughs> I don't know what Jensen would be. Uh, or Jensen, depending on how you want to pronounce it. But I'm going to guess it's Jensen in this case. For, for Mr. Brit. So we're picking up another grenadier. I have to believe Resistance training, or, or we're getting our reapers in two days. Two days for a reaper. Beautiful. The Avatar project has increased by one pip. I'm not worried about it right now. Like I said, I want to at least get us armor probably before we. Oh wait, we we picked up our. We picked up our weapons. I gotta look at this real quick. Engineer. Build items. Weapons. Okay, so shard gun. This is the shotgun. 50 supplies, 5 alloys. Purchased. Immediately purchased. Skirmisher one. Uh, you know, I'll definitely want it, but he's on a mission right now. He's about to be off his mission, though, so we might pick that up. Uh, squad upgrade for m magnetic rifle. 75 supplies, 10 alloys. Purchased. I want to bring our boy with us on the next mission, I think, so let's give him the bullpup. And now we're left with the auto pistol and the pistol. Uh, depending on our next mission, we might pick up the pistol thing, but it'd be a mission that had lost on it, basically. If, if a mission has lost on it and I want to bring a sharpshooter, then I'll pick him up. Thought about that. View mission. Had a nice Recover yeah. resistance yeah. operative no Operation no Fading no Shroud. Don't worry. I'm sure and engineer in 84 Intel. You know, I really wish that was a scientist. Gotta be honest with you. I'm not mad about an engineer though, so Catherine, I'm definitely willing and able to come rescue you, my friend. Arctic territory. 
So since it didn't look like it said anything about lost in the mission report, I'm not going to be picking up that pistol upgrade. And also, let's see. Uh, our regular cannon gun, our grenadiers are not as effective because we haven't been able to pick up their gun upgrade yet. So we might want to tone it back a little bit and bring maybe... Maybe another ranger instead, or a ranger and a specialist. Two rangers, special, two gren uh, two specialists. No, one specialist. Two grenadiers. We should probably train up our sniper. I feel like our sniper's not getting enough love, so... Who would we drop... To bring... A sniper with us or do we even want to I'm gonna wait for the sniper upgrade probably I think I can, I think we can roll with this two upgraded guns these do have plus one damage right so let's see yeah they've got plus one damage so they're only like one point worse than they'd be anyway with the the paid upgrade so they're not they're not bad they're definitely worse than they could be or will be soon Okay, two Grenadiers. We've got Sabretooth with his med kit. We have a flash grenade. Flashbang on one of our Rangers. Okay, let's put the flashbang on the other Ranger. George, Mr. George Jackson. We're going in hot. Let's see what we got. We got to try to rescue this engineer and get out of here. I'm comfortable with this squad. But this is, it does make me nervous. Like I said, it's been a week. A week is a long time to go. You're not in the same mindset that you were when you were blasting through missions before. I mean, every time I was streaming this game, it was... Uh, Every time I put it away, came back a couple day, days later, I was scared. I was nervous because you just you're just not in the same mindset at the time. You've you've lost your uh, your killer instinct, and uh, and getting back into the zone is something that can get your squad killed. Operation Fading Shroud: Recover a Resistance Operative, Recover and re Extract Resistance Operative, Extract All XCOM Operatives. Tunnels under Novgorod. So this is an underground mission. The resistance VIP is hiding in the tunnels not far from your position. One of their is this one of them where so there there are definitely ones where you basically once you find them you have to fight off waves. Yeah, this is that one. Okay, this is this can be very dangerous and devastating. Kinda wish I'm I might have wished I'd brought the sniper with us, but... Alright, we're gonna send you up to the, the top floor. Karen. Sabretooth, let's send you on the right side. Uh, you know what? Sabretooth, let's have you sprint up to this thing. That sounds dangerous. That sounds incredibly dangerous. Don't be a fool. Let's put you here, though. If we're in the middle, it's probably fine. It was fine. Put you in this spot. Let's get you to peek. Got it. Through to the next area. Okay, we've got ooh one of those boys, one of those robot boys. They're not good boys. Solid copy. Let's see where we want to be. So they're over there. Let's take a step okay. forward. Keep our coverage. We need to kill him. He's bad. His missile. 
Like, he, he's got a whole bunch of things going for him. He's got missiles. He can do a lot of damage. Missiles are especially bad if you're on, like, a second floor against him. Okay, I want to put you... Here? What's your shot like from here? 94% against that. 92% right there. We could drop a grenade and then let you guys scatter. And then when, once you scatter, we can uh, we can go to, go to devastate you. I think I'm going to... We could drop a grenade from that man. Or that, that lady. But I think we'd rather drop one of your grenades since you have the weaker guns right now. Also, this lets us shred an armor from this man and it'll blow up some of his cover. Get ready for a surprise. They're gonna, they're gonna scatter. We want the robot dead. We would like the robot dead. They've got our position. This is an extremely well equipped mechanized combat unit. He went up to the second to floor, okay. If we're going to take that thing out. That's really bad for our friend here. Let's see if we can assist with a shotgun blast. 77% to do 6 to 8. We would have to do 7 damage. Let's go for it. Yeah, okay. We did we did the 8. But basically it had to do 7 to get through the dam the armor and still kill it. And now we're looking to tear up the Viper. I don't really want to move too far out because we might get another squad activated. Where is everybody? So what we might do is just... Uh, Back ourselves up to where he has to come after us. Because on, on the roof... I guess these guys are technically visible over here. So you might get snagged or something. So maybe we can't do that. We can't play by those rules. So let's go... Let's go for the... Kill. I am... I'm very worried about taking a shot over there. You know what? I'm gonna go for the safer approach of not being in line of sight and then hope for the best. Like, I, I hope that character on the top doesn't just get popped, but... Covering now. I wanna make the guy move, pretty much. Moving to designated coordinates. On Overwatch. And then if he ha moves into a decent spot, we can gun him down. Dude, his movement range is high. Okay. He absorbed... He absorbed us over here. Pulled us in. That's annoying, but we can walk over and dice him. Absolutely. 93% for 5 to 7. Oh, a dodge. Oh, okay. It unwraps him even, even with the dodge, so... No longer bound. Get rid of him. <laughs> 11 damage. That's what you get for wrapping me up, son. We need to pick this weapon up. Uh, so run to the... No need to ask twice. Run to here. Laser sight and repeater. They're not upgraded, but... Got it. That's fine. So we've taken... What is that? Two points of damage, I think, on one of our friends. Which is bad, but we're just going to put you guys on Overwatch while the other guys run over. Next squad is forward some. So. Let's go. Take it nice and easy. 
Probably just reload this turn. With these two gentlemen. Dude, why does that... Sometimes my interface gets messed up until I... It seems like when I hotkey reload, it sometimes doesn't uh, switch to the next person the way it should. Alright, so we are going to move you closer, but everybody else... We're going to wait till next turn to start advancing further. Because they might walk in this turn, for all we know. Whoever happens to be over there. Okay, they didn't... Let's... Is there a decent thing where we might be able to... Draw them out? I guess we'll just run to here for a second, then if, if necessary we might... Just fall back. If we... Need to. Okay, we've activated a squad. The VIP is back there. Flamethrower man. We didn't activate the... Okay, this is a separate one. We've only activated... This person. So. Advent officer. Can we break your... Your, your crap? We did break your trap. Okay. So now, let's just finish him off. Clean and proficient kills. This is the way you got to do it. And then, so we, we have them in our line of sight, but they, they are not activated right now, I don't think. I might be mistaken. Are they activated? He's ducking and stuff like he might be activated. I'm gonna have you retreat a little bit. And then let's have you move forward. Go into Overwatch. Slight forward Overwatch position. Okay, they are activated. I thought maybe for some reason they weren't activated with the rest of the squad, but that was a mistake. Oh god, the missiles. That was bad. No, you're burning! You are burning? Let's... Have you back up and douse yourself if possible? Can you... I forget. Hungering down, I think. Confirmed. We'll get rid of the burning. If burning puts out the fire. So, yeah. Take a step back. Hunker down. We've taken two points of damage there. Two points of damage here. Three points of damage on bold big flank. I don't like this spread out damage we've been sustaining. I don't like what the rocket man did to us. Not a fan of that. I'm going to back up with him to a little bit of cover. And then we are going to heal the extremely wounded, bold big flank. Because he's one shot from death regardless. So what if we hit him with a, a flashbang? We don't really have a prime spot for that. You've ruined my top floor cover, which I'm pretty sure I was just talking about how the robots love to do that. Bold. So you don't have enough range to hit both at the same time. I definitely want the robot killed before the other man, and maybe that's a mistake, but I think that it's probably, probably for the best. What if we just hit him with a couple rockets? A couple grenades? We need cover, is the problem. 
or one of, there's many problems going on one of them is is a cover based problem I really want strong cover in their direction but I don't I don't really have the opportunity for it unfortunately so I'll take weak cover against this wall try to spread ourselves out and then just hit him with a frag grenade we got to try to get rid of that man the flamethrower guy is dangerous but he's not as dangerous as that other guy so I'm, I'm ignoring him he's definitely easier to kill than the other one okay so this is full cover you were were you at full cover a second ago and I just ran you away from it we can't have everybody at that full cover but I might be seeing the error of my ways, is, is what I'm getting at. Uh, okay, so we are either going to try to flashbang him or we're going to try to kill him. So I'm going to move up. Six, it's a 66. Alright, we're going to flashbang you guys. I want to try to disorient you both. Does he not get disoriented? Okay, he missed. I thought it might mess up his sensors or something, but maybe not. So that flashbang may have been entirely pointless and worthless. I don't really know. 76% chance from right there. Let's bring it up here. Try to dice him. 80% chance if it hits, he's dead. He is deceased. Target neutralized. Oh, I'm not feeling super confident about this one right now. Absolutely. But we can definitely make it work still. He's been right. dealt with. Okay, so we need to. We need to advance and hopefully not activate a squad, but if we do activate a squad, I'll just, yeah, keep my eyes peeled. Let's reload. Now you. So the, the reload thing brings up and messes up the, the area here. That's what's going on. Something is messed up about how that presents itself. And I'm not sure what it is, but we can work around it. Rock and roll. Oh, you had a free reload, so that was a that was a waste. All right, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure that everybody was in to good uh, good positioning, both location and resources available to them. Okay, we're moving in. Let's head up to this. I'm worried about running further than that. Let's peek around this corner. It's extremely devastating. The world is so dangerous. Now we're being, we're being cautious, not without reason. The world is extremely punishing. I'm not going to heal up anybody else right now, mainly because if I if I use it and somebody needs to be like being revived from being unconscious or something like that, it's just gone. Like I only have I think the one opportunity to use these now. So I want to make sure it counts. So once this activates, I'm on the move. what happens is the area gets under attack by enemy forces, Orders confirmed. Moving out. and we have to wait for an extraction point to appear somewhere. Good to go. So we're moving in. 
It honestly might be better for us to, to establish maybe a couple locations where we hang out. We don't necessarily want all our people to be right in the center. So we might want somebody up on the this. But at the same time, being able to hunker down and keep people close together is, is still beneficial, so. I don't know. I don't know what's best. But we're gonna move it. We're gonna move in and start it this turn. So Hello my friend. Okay, that flare these flares indicate where enemies are dropping in. So we want to try to get ourselves into a position to take down the drops that happen here. So I'm going to put him on an overwatch in this location. I'm going to have you hunker down in a corner where they don't have any sort of line of sight to you. Let's see. So there's one over there. Let's try to dice the one that comes in on this side. Moving to designated position. With Overwatch. Overwatch. Uh, let's see. Do we have a we have the, this spot? There, so yeah, I'm just gonna try to Overwatch and kill these guys. Yeah. Overwatch shots are not the the greatest for accuracy. And you can't get much closer, so we'll take an Overwatch at this corner. Overwatch. I don't know if you'll be able to fire at anybody, but just stay there and try to get them. Because when they drop in, they're not going to attack or anything like that. They're going to drop in, we're going to have a chance to shoot them, and then we'll have another turn once they've moved into position. So it is fair in that, you know, we get a decent chance to do some damage. Like there, eight damage, we killed one of them. Nice job. Oh, that was the officer as well. Undying loyalty. That was the... Okay, undying loyalty is annoying. I think that was the dark event we missed on the first one that we screwed up, and so that's active now. But our overwatches have been extremely valuable for us in this encounter. So here's where it gets scary. They just keep dropping guys in. Victor Creed is burning. Crap. I put you in a, in a location where you are now on fire. On All we gotta do is hunker you down though to fix that. You didn't take any damage from it, so that's fine. Okay, I'd like that guy to die. I'd obviously like you to die. Six damage. Let's try to move over here and fire at him. Hopefully this is a decent shot. It looks like it should be. Five to seven with an 80% chance. So 80% chance to hit and then two of the three damaged things will kill him. And it worked out for us. It seems like decent odds, but it's it's actually, you know, not exceptionally good to put yourself into that situation. Alright. The units are pretty far back. If we put you here, they can't fire at you without moving into position. You have overwatch potential. So we'll do it there. Karen, we're going to move you up and overwatch you over here. And then Mr. George Jackson. How many people are in line of sight of any of these guys? We've got one, two, three that are, I think, not in line of sight of them at all. You're not in line of sight of them back there. And then you are also not in line of sight of them. So long as we don't open this door. 
So I'm going to put you on this side. And I'm going to put you on Overwatch to try to shoot at these guys when they drop in and run forward, hopefully. We got Advent here. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you have the thing where you, t you do damage if you miss anyway. But it's a four damage, or a four health guy, so... All of our other weapons will normally kill them, pretty much. I didn't expect George Jackson to be one-tapped by that man. He normally likes to mind control people. That was my bad. I'm sorry, George. That was a uh, that was a pretty big mistake on my part. I thought about when I was going over there that you know I didn't have cover from the other side, but I, I didn't think they'd be able to get in and shoot. That was that was my bad. Fifty eight percent is not likely to hit, and it didn't. So you have a hundred percent chance to kill the this one. Because if you miss, it does three damage anyway, so go for it. Enemy destroyed. So I'd like to get his body out just for... Because I'm, I'm a... I'm a good squad leader like that. I get him killed, I gotta get him out, regardless. <laughs> that doesn't necessarily make me a good squad leader, does it? Let's see if we can... I don't know what the, the, the fire accuracy is going to be up from up here but we get a chance to do an attack on him 88 percent 77 percent okay let's take the alien down the obvious alien the other guy is still an alien malika so you might have like a hundred percent chance to shoot him from about here you might not, but if you don't, we can hack and slash him right afterwards. Actually, you know what? We might as well just try to... That's not what I want to do. Let's see. 100% chance to slash him from back here. Who else do we have available? So it's you and you. I'll take the... 100% chance to slice him over here. Blade Master! And then I'm gonna just have you hunker down in this corner. I wish you could carry our friend out. That'd be fun. I'm sorry, my friend, for getting you killed, by the way. Never intended to do such a thing. No! Karen is bleeding out! Oh my god. Sabretooth. So this is why Sabretooth... This is why Sabretooth is here and decked out like this. Let's send him back because we, we're going to have to carry her out of here. But we got to stabilize her. Stops the soldier from bleeding out. A painful mission. So there's our extraction point. We have more coming in. Can we get you out this turn? We can, so you run. You get yourself out of here. Extract. So the resistance operative is out of here. We gotta get our, our units out. Let's see, there's only... They're gonna drop this turn, so... We move you in, we pick him up, and then you can run out of here next turn. Where is she? What is happening to us? Is this gonna be buggy and not let me... Your body is right here. 
I might need to be adjacent, directly adjacent to you, so let's... Crap, this is gonna... This is gonna be annoying. I gotta try to secure the area. Fifty six percent now. We're gonna overwatch. You're gonna reload. Yeah, we just gotta try to secure the area to get this person out of here. You're about to get point blank busted. Well one of you is. <laughs> oh no, he's a zombie now. That is not a fun ability to be dealing with. The undying loyalty. Watch the flanks. No, don't hurt me. Overwatch is in effect. Oh god, she's gotta go. Okay. It looks like they're running out of reinforcements. They're running out of room? Okay, whatever you say, sir. I don't believe you for a second. God, you're in, you're in trouble. Wait, revival protocol. We can actually... Fix this potentially. God, you're you're getting shot at though. This is really bad for you. <laughs> I am scared, guys. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I've messed some I messed this mission up. You have full health. I'm gonna let you take the overwatch hit, all right? Out. And it actually hit me, you jerk. I'm going to come down. I'm gonna come down back here. So you can shoot, you can shoot. You can get back here. We need you to revive the person. But I need you to be ready to run as well, so let's see. How does this roll? 83%. I think you can fire from here and then extract. So what we're going to do with you, put you... In this spot, fire. Enemy eliminated. And then you're out of here. I'm going. <laughs> and now you are gonna try to kill this big boy to keep ourselves a little clear. Yes, you've done it. Okay. Because Sabertooth, we want Sabertooth to get out of here. And we want Sabretooth to restore that person. So we're hoping we can do this. Alright, we have the chance, maybe. You're in Overwatch, that's a, a jerk maneuver. Also a jerk maneuver. Missing is much better, thank you. We have no opportunity to get rid of their overwatch. If you get shot, you're toast, dude. I just want you to know that. But if you if you absorb all their overwatches... Moving. <laughs> this. Oh, thank God. That was not a, a game I wanted to play. But I did it anyway. 
So let's see. Revival protocol, Karen. She is revived. Oh, and she can get out. Affirmative. It's all saber tooth now, guys. Evac. You can shoot and then evac. You've done it. You're a hero. No longer a threat. You're giving them every chance they have, or every chance to get out of here, all right? I saw what you did. I'm a big believer. Okay, just get a little closer. <laughs> I guess I could have hunkered down and maybe given myself more of a... Oh, he had to reload! He's on Overwatch. I don't like Overwatch, guys. A double Overwatch situation. Not a fan of that. You can do it, brother. Do not get me! Do not... Do not! Oh, three damage! He lives! <laughs> oh my god. We didn't, we didn't get our, uh, our dead body out of here with us, but we got everybody else set. I'm sorry that we had to leave you behind and never want to do that, but the lives of our crew are too important. Operation Fading Shroud was almost the end of an XCOM squad. It ended up being a victory, but it was a a bit of a Pyrrhic victory. Holy crap. Okay, so that... I don't know if that's the rust from uh, a week off, or if I would have just ended up in the same situation as well, but that's, you know, that's part of the reason why I'm always worried about the uh, the first one when I'm back. The first one. It ended up being okay other than, you know, we lost. We lost our uh, our guy. We've got people wounded for 20, 27, 16 days. Six days I'm not so worried about, but the other ones are bad. All right. Bold big flank. We're going to turn you into a gunner. So you're going to get shredded. We get the opportunity for... Uh, let's see. I definitely don't want people... I want somebody who can who can burn through Overwatch or, or just get through it and deal with it. We're going to memorialize this man. He did not die in vain. Join the fight. He needs to be... Can I change his pose a little bit? What do we want? We need the salute. He's looking f into the into the future boldly. He was a great man. He died trying to restore freedom to this world. We will Always remember our friend Jackson. He only did one mission. He got a kill on there, but he got himself killed. He laid down his life for the cause. We ended up with a laser sight and a repeater. Uh, I mean, it's it's all right. We got some intel. We got an engineer. But we are uh, we are reeling at that loss. Ooh. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Like the video if you're enjoying it. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. I'll catch you guys next time. Later.